Wellness for Life is brought to you by Purim Physical Therapy, Gottenberg Chiropractic Clinic, and Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership. Hi, I'm Dr. Gottenborg, um, a chiropractor in Pelican Rapids, and um, we do this monthly program, and uh, today I'm going to talk about two or three different things in, in kind of end our program talking about um, uh, something I've just seen three or four people recently with, and this is uh, uh, what one would say is a widening of the knuckle characteristic of people with osteoarthritis or or rheumatoid arthritis, and um, I'm going to talk a little bit about the timing of treating that disorder. But uh, to begin with, I, I do want to remind uh, people uh, that uh, we are certified to perform uh, DOT exams. We're certified through the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Administration, and we've been doing this for about about a year and a half and uh, we're very flexible as far as uh, times and appointments um, and you just have to call our office uh, here in Pelican. Uh, the second thing is, is um, sometimes people ask me, um, well do you have an x-ray and I guess I've never talked about that. When we moved into our current facility here on Fifth Avenue uh, we did not include x-ray I have a very strong and good working relationship with both Essentia, which is just giddy according to me, and Sanford. Uh, we also work with community MRI in Detroit Lakes, as well as the clinics in Wadena, Park Rapids, and Monaga, uh, and as far as Bemidji. So uh, we do have referral rights there, and uh, when we think it's appropriate, we certainly use them. This next subject is one that has just surfaced more recently and um, when I become more interested is when this happens to a younger person, say in their 30s, 40s, early 50s. Um, and this is when we start to see kind of almost an enlargement of the joint in the finger. Um, most have seen a medical doctor already and might tell me that the diagnosis is osteoarthritis. but there could be other causes, lupus, uh, rheumatoid. The concern to me is when it happens to a young person and for example if one already has an x-ray and we look at the x-ray and we start to see uh, a bony deposition, almost a calcification around the knuckle, this would then almost um, permanently disfigure that knuckle. My concern isn't always when it's a single joint because there may be something in the patient's history that, uh, for example, overuse. But when this process turns up in a random joint, then I have concern, especially when we see calcification. I often ask them, well, where do you think the calcium comes from? And the obvious answer would be your diet. But when this starts happening to multiple joints, the body actually mobilizes calcium from healthy bone, okay, and then it begins to settle or precipitate that calcium where there is unhealthy joints. So if it isn't a finger, it could be a heel spur, it could be cataracts, it could be a kidney stone. So my concern other than pain, medically they're concerned about pain and they'll likely come up with some remedy involving medication. What we try to do is we try to isolate perhaps what may be causing the autoimmune or the inflammatory response and definitely along with that we are educating in beginning to take steps to prevent what I think often happens, and that is end stage, or as one ages, developing osteoporosis. So um, there are good strategies that are difficult to explain in just a very short period of time, but they involve certain nutrients, more than just taking calcium or magnesium, but good strategies to stop the inflammatory process, but more importantly, maintain healthy bone and connective tissue structure. And so 
If you're a person in your 30s or 40s or early 50s and you begin to notice this and there's inflammation and you've been told that you have osteoarthritis, um, contact us. There are certainly other alternatives and other strategies and we'd be more than happy to help. Thank you for watching Wellness for Life. Brought to you by Purim Physical Therapy, Gothenburg Chiropractic Clinic, and Mojave Ottawa Community Action Partnership.